lovelies, welcome back to my channel and another video. My hair's looking super dark this morning, flipping heck. Um, after my makeup, I used a new makeup product which I'm absolutely loving. Um, I've got a cup of tea. Oh, Lee's knocking on the window. What does he want? Everything okay? I don't know what he wanted. Anyway, um, I killed my hair today. I've got it in like a little clip at the moment, but it'll probably it will probably just go back up, um, back what's it, back down. Um, but yeah, today is a kind of getting stuff done day. I think I think it's about half past ten. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys some cool bits that I picked up in Primark. There wasn't enough for a haul, a, like a haul video, but I thought. Why don't I just show you on the vlog? Why don't we film the day? I really want to go for a walk. It's the first dry day in like forever. And I quite fancy going for a walk, maybe to the beach or something. Um, and I've got a new makeup product on. So I just thought, let's have a chatty day. Um, I'm looking really pale on this camera right now, but I'm actually not this pale. Anyway, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and um, start the vlog. So welcome back to my channel. So I am currently, I've curled the top of my hair now and kept it all down um so i'm currently packing up some bits that i've sold on ebay actually incredible that you do i've just literally look, i literally list lou can't believe it really i listed four random things on ebay that have just been like plonked around my house not used in well a very long time <laughs> and i've made 50 pounds from collaboratively co co collectively selling them all these random items and literally like, I'm going to show you some of the items I've sold right just packed this one up already but this was just a golf Nintendo Switch game and literally I made 15 quid for that um I then got this North Face I'm just about to package this one up but I'm just like doing the the back here um a North Face fleece orange um literally bought it um originally from eBay but then as I said I never worn it the color just wasn't it's looking much more orange here, but basically just didn't suit me. Um, so yeah, I sold this on eBay, um, and I made, how much did I make from this? I think I made like £8.50 for something that I've not worn all summer. Um, so I'm going to package that up in a minute. What else have I sold? I've sold this North Face jacket, um, another North Face item um, on eBay. Um, never worn it, just drowned me out a little bit. It wasn't my colour. And last but not least... I've sold this misguided jumper, brand new with tags. That's three, four items. I lied, I think I said five. But that's like, that I have not used. I've been in a wardrobe and I have made nearly 50 quid from these items. And um, let me get the exact amount off eBay. Um, and I think you've got to pay like 50p listing fee per item. But still, um, it's money that is just in the cupboard. So might have a little afternoon trying to find a few more items. Lou couldn't believe it when I told him the total, didn't you, Lou? You were like, so current total funds from my eBay at the moment is £44.47 from four random items that have been sat in my... £44.47 from these items, Lou. Oh, no. Can you believe it? That's so good. Anyway, I'm going to package them up and get them sent off this afternoon um, because I think postage is just a nightmare on the island and I've already missed the first post of the day, so that is just great not <laughs> but um yeah i'm gonna get this all packaged up and i'm putting like white stickers on this bag so that the address shows up a little bit more clearer on there and i've got more stuff over there that i'm getting rid of and selling i'm just trying to really declutter but then every time the postman comes i'm like oh didn't realize i ordered that i did but i just forget what i've ordered going for the porch no i'm not i'm not Go absolutely no Luke, absolutely i know because you're absolutely mortified Today's um, healthy lunch is so nutritious. We've got lots of nice nutrition. We've got some fresh chicken. We've got some ham. I'm joking. I'm trying to drink as much. I know it's not water, but it's diluting juice. So um, I've got some diluting juice with it. Do you call it diluting juice? Or what does? what's the other thing that people call it? I've seen this thing somewhere that in England they call it something different. Obviously, I've been in Scotland since I was 10. So to me, it's diluting juice. But what is it people call it in England? Juice? I don't know. Um, but I've got some peach diluting juice and this pizza and it's literally just going to stop for a minute, have my lunch and then pack up the last couple of bits and take them to the post office and maybe try and convince Lou that we need to go on a walk. So that is my plan of action for the next hour. So I was such a failed vlogger yesterday. I vlogged until like lunchtime and then today I was like, today I'm going to get up, 
seize the day um, and I've really not done a huge amount today. So I thought let's just spend the evening together, end the vlog here um, and then we'll move on and be productive tomorrow. <laughs> so I just need to move on with like the two. Yesterday was kind of just one of them days where it was just like stacked all positive but then it just kind of en ended not the most amazing anyway um i've just had a bath so that means that tomorrow i will wake up with fresh hair seize the day i'm motivational speaking here today we've had like candles on um i've been watching so many um holiday vlogs because it's so close now to us going away the flipping suitcases haven't arrived yet which is not ideal um we had i did have a suitcase but it wasn't like a suitcase if that makes sense it doesn't make sense how it like I had a suitcase but um, I've used it a few times and to be honest it, it just gone a little bit dodgy um so I need to to be honest I could probably it does work it like it's it, I just need to give it away basically so we've got two new suitcases coming um and I ordered them on Saturday on Halloween the day for Halloween and they're still not come yet and it is now what day are we on now we are on Wednesday so anyway I've been on the sofa most of today um, it's now six o'clock. I've had a nice bath and I really cannot be bothered cooking tonight. Like I actually can't be bothered cooking. So um, I'm, I can't be bothered cooking so I'm not cooking tonight. It's just not happening. I am going to get a Chinese and I've not had a takeaway in like two weeks. Um, so anyway I'm going to let my hair dry naturally. Straighten, um, straighten it and once it's dried and then I'm going to order a takeaway about half past seven. But it's so frustrating because this is the one time in my life I wished we lived in a city and I've got to do the dishes too. Um, so that's kind of like two jobs I need to do before we get a takeaway. Um, Lou, I don't think he's going to get one tonight. Um, he's not feeling that hungry. He's not feeling too hungry. Um, so anyway, well, I'm going to get a takeaway. I'm going to sit on the sofa as well. But I'm gonna let, wait for my hair to dry. I've completely lost my flow of what I was saying there. But I've got a couple of things I actually wanted to show you guys. So I got some bits in Primark, which I will end the vlog tonight by showing you guys because I will take out the boot. Um, that was it. That's the one reason I hate living on an island. You cannot get a takeaway delivered to your house. The takeaway has to do, um, you have to basically order the takeaway and go and pick it up. And it's so annoying. <laughs> so annoying and I've got my big fleecy jumper on and I've started wearing like gold jewellery in my ears and I absolutely love it I'm going to put another earring in there and um, I used to be quite a silver jewellery person but I'm really liking the red anyway, not the red, the gold um, I've been watching holiday vlogs all day on YouTube like Grand Canaria ones and um, it's a vibe I've found so many like good um, Grand Canaria vlogs because I'm so excited to go um, oh my gosh, my hair looks really red there. It's not. Act it's actually not that colour. I think it's the light radiating off the blonde. But I'm getting rid of this blonde. Um, I'm getting rid of the blonde, the blonde bits at the front. I want to go back to the hairdressers in a couple of weeks. Anyway, can't believe I've invaded the internet with this look. Whoa. Yeah, Lou. When you get to Gran Canaria, you've actually got to wear like you've got. You can eat your food, and then every time you take a mouthful, if you don't eat have to take the face mask off like you, you have to, to yeah no i'm vlogging today lou. um <laughs> so no but lou i'm telling you right now right do you think 50 face masks will be enough no do you not well depends on i think maybe we depends should depends how many times you're going to use each one yeah true right come on hurry up right we're going to go pick up um the takeaway Lou just did not get my joke in there, he was not listening, was he? He's thinking, Lou's thinking to himself, what is she talking about? He didn't even click that I said to him that you've got to wear a face mask while you're talking at the table, honestly. Men. Anyway, come on Lou, the takeaway, it's going to be cold. I ordered, I'll show you what I ordered when it comes, oh my god, well not when it comes because I've got to go pick it up. But I've straightened my hair now. It um, actually turned out really nice but I've just literally got my pyjamas on. <laughs> And then this big jacket and then no one will know because I'll walk in like that with the face mask on. Come on Lou, hurry up. Chop, chop. Does anyone else's other half do you think that just make it like so unstatically pleasing? Lou just ripped open the packet. Instead of just like, oh it's gorgeous food, let's slide it out. Lou's like, get me in there. Right Lou, go on. So we've got garlic, we've got salt and pepper, <laughs> prawn. We've got a curry sauce. What else have we got Lou? Oh, I forgot I ordered. Oh no, this is yours. Um, Lou's got some barbecue dry ribs. Here you go, Lou. Barbecue dry ribs. 
and then I just I didn't want to go crazy tonight so I just ordered a plain chow mein and a fried rice and that is our Chinese takeaway oh and she's giving me some free prawn crackers that is so kind of her OMG I have ate so much food I put my hair like in a little oh it's coming out um I've ate so much food literally um anyway the northern lights are out um in our local village so Lou went out and I was like I'm still eating my dinner it was like 10 o'clock at night it's like 20 past 10 now so it's like 10 o'clock I was having my food still and I just pick at a Chinese takeaway so I sat here picking at said Chinese takeaway just enjoying every like cold mouthful I love cold Chinese I eat all my food cold I'm such a slow eater anyway I was like um down in Capri Suns as well I'm my third Capri Sun it's so bad I'm actually hooked on Capri Suns anyway the northern lights were out and Lou was like right I'm going he loves anything to do with the stars and all that sort of stuff and I was like oh I, I'm gonna have my Chinese and then more and more people on Facebook were posting their pictures of the northern lights and I was just sat here thinking oh do you know what I probably should go and have a look at it so I texted Lou and was like well I phoned him and it's, I hit, our phones are connected to the car and he picked up and he was like um I'm about five minutes away and I was like do you know what I'll come so he's coming back for me just now <laughs> and I've just put my trainers on um and I'm just waiting for him and hopefully I might be able to pick up some of the northern lights on this camera you never know so we are on the road for the northern lights it's very exciting but what does make me laugh about the northern lights so me and Lou have nearly been together seven years and um, when we first met Lou would like text me at like one in the morning when I lived at my phone and dad's and he'd be like do you want to come see the northern lights and he genuinely meant it and in our whole seven years of our relationship um, I mean, I've seen the Northern Lights a few times because we go out quite often and Isla Sky is known. You're probably not going to see me right now unless I'm this. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh jeez, sorry Lee. Um, the Isla Sky is known for the Northern Lights. A lot of people come to Sky and want to see the Northern Lights. So anyway, I've seen them a couple of times, but when we do stop to see them and we're looking out to like... <laughs> when we're looking out, we're like, wow! Oh my gosh, it's amazing! sat there thinking have I got different eyesight to other people because I genuinely cannot see what they're seeing but anyway we're just pulling up to the location there's cars dotted everywhere everyone is wanting to see these northern lights so we'll see what we see that parking spot Lou looks a bit potholy doesn't it oh don't stall the car start and stop right come on Lou the sky's moved off now. oh jeez no swearing beep um it's about finding the right passing place. Jeez, Louise, this one's a bit tight. Flipping <laughs> neck. Look, look, see what I mean? Cars galore. I mean, we're talking, it's it's 25 to 11 right now. I've never seen Sky so busy. Look, we're literally 20, how many miles are out in the middle of nowhere? 20, 30 miles in the middle no. of nowhere? Lou, we are. <laughs> Lou. miles. Lou, we are. Look, the, the vloggers can, everyone can see there's nothing. I mean, if the lights Hang were on. on if you've been to Sky, we're below the old manor store, so that's where we are. What well, we're looking at, oh gosh, blind, blinding the camera. Um, <laughs> so, right, come on, Lou, focus. I mean... I can see them right there. Well, the, ca the camera's not... <laughs> Look at the camera, Lou, it's doing that like... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I can't see them, I must admit. But the camera is not picking it up, but I'm going to add some photos in. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Lou's like, turn the lights off. <laughs> oh, Lou! <laughs> Oh look, he's got this. Look, what's this noise gonna do? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can see them, Lou. I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I think people make them a little bit greener on their editation on their camera, but I can see some green. They are definitely out there. The camera is not picking them up. I will add a picture. Okay, yep, they're there. This okay, is what sec. Lou apparently <laughs> just seen i'm joking i mean you can see it i mean i can see it you're right you're colorblind i honestly think i'm colorblind i mean that is beautiful that so that is what we're looking at right now but the camera won't pick it up oh beautiful absolutely beautiful look that's what the camera is seriously creepy this right i know you guys cannot see anything from, all apart from a few red dots and cars and stuff but there is people there is well i'm putting this light on are you as Turn that light Lock the doors, Lou. Lock the doors. Lou, <laughs> Lou, lock the doors. There's people around walking in the dark. It's so creepy. Oh, quiet. These are like photographers, yeah. 
<laughs> so we've just been out of the car and got some really good pictures. Come on, Lee, show the YouTubers. <laughs> we... Lee, I haven't got time to write in. We shall have to edit that bit out. Right. No, Do it so again. We've just maybe. been out of the car to have a look at some pictures. Lee's that much of a Northern Lights fan. His background of his photo is of the Northern Lights. <laughs> I mean, why am I not on there? There's people everywhere. So this is what we have just seen. This is absolutely spectacular. Shine to the next one, Lou, please. Swipe, swipe. Wow. I mean, what's that? You see that? Incredible. <laughs> that is really, no, it's really cool. I mean, you, you've definitely got different sight to me, Lou. That one is really green. I, I just feel like, I mean, the camera is not picking this up at all. Oh, that one's pinky. That one was quite pink when it went that color. Yeah, so, Northern Lights Spectacular. Oh, that's good. Well, that one's a good one. That was really cool. It's not, I mean, if we were at the flat and I was showing you with a bit more light, it would be better. But anyway, yeah, that's our <laughs> light. Northern Lights Spectacular. Are we heading home now? <laughs> so we are back at the flat after the rather exciting Northern Lights experience. And I'm going to finish the vlog by showing you guys some of the bits I got in Primark because there's not enough for a, there's not enough for a haul. Um, like a whole dedicated video but there's enough to show you guys on the end of the vlog and also I'm going to show you this super cute bag that I got from Hudson Blue I've got a fake tan mitt here which is ready to be packed in my suitcase when the suitcases arrive we ordered suitcases from a website called made oh gosh what is the focus going on here um, made.com made Dot com, but they've like they've just not arrived yet um, and I ordered them on Saturday and it's now like midweek as of this earlier on the vlog they've not come so a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do so I'm like chucking stuff in the corner of my living room when the suitcases arrive they're getting packed ASAP because it's not long until we go and I like to have at least three two three days to just kind of like try an outfit put stuff in a suitcase and I just leave the suitcase on the bedroom floor or the living room floor and just like add stuff as we go over a couple of days so anyway the suitcase is not here yet, so I've just like chucked stuff. I've been chucking stuff like at this bag. So anyway, this bag I got from a company called Hudson Blue Designs. This was actually a scarf that my one of my best friends got me for my birthday. It's the most beautiful Louis Vuitton scarf. This is actually a real Louis Vuitton scarf, and I was like, I just thought with it on my faux Hudson Blue Designs handbag with my initials on it. I thought it adds a bit of like realness to the fake so people surely will look at this and think wow that's real they might not but I don't really mind but this is beautiful anyway um and I still I'm so happy it's finally getting some use so anyway we've got the HM on it and then in the handbag we've got a variety of stuff that I have been chucking in there um ready to go on this is gonna be like my flight bag like the, the bag I take on the flight with us because um, it's quite big and then it's got this little cute bag that's like attached to the bag and inside there I could just put like our passports and stuff because I am literally a nervous flyer I'm already panicking that I haven't when I say nervous flyer I'm not like like a nervous flyer but I'm like ah at the thought of like not having the passports not having the correct stuff to fly so I'm that type of nervous flyer um so I feel like this bag if I start getting myself like sorted then I won't feel so stressed out anyway let's show you guys what I picked up in Primark because there's some cute little bits there um and I love a Primark haul oh, should I put the camera here or maybe just like prop it up on something mm, it's not gonna work can we go here yeah we can we're gonna work from this let me just switch the tv off and I'll be back so let's get in and see what is in this Primark bag so first of all I have got okay that is not mine that's loose <laughs> t-shirt <laughs> First of all, I have got a cap. Mm. Okay, I get, a, I just get a burnt head. Now, I've never been on holiday for some like summer sun as such, but I felt like this cap. Okay, I don't suit a cap. What is going on? Do we suit a cap? No. Not sure I suit a cap. Anyway, the cap is just a plain black cap, and it was three pound 
absolute bargain. Um, I then picked up, wait, is this Lou's as well? What is he doing putting all his random clothes? I bought this a few days ago when we were getting the car MOT. And I just feel like he's used my bag as like some sort of like luggage disposal at the back of the car. Yeah, that's Lou's t-shirt. Ignore that. Next thing, I, felt, I, th I thought the bag felt heavier. And the next thing I got is this long sleeve black t-shirt. Um, it's black, but it's not black. I chose it because it's more like navy, but not navy. <laughs> um, it's £3.50 and I got it in a size 6 to 8. So I picked up that just a plain basic. That's not a holiday pile. That's just like random pile. Um, everyday essentials. I picked this t-shirt up because it's a long white t-shirt. Like long, 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 long. Um, it's a thin kind of loose material. And I was thinking like over a bikini, this would be quite a cool like beach cover up. I say bikini because yeah, I'm not a huge like um bikini kind of gal, if you know what I mean. And um, so I got this because it's a size it's a size 10 to 12 and it's four pounds. And I like bikinis and I like swimming costumes and I like all that kind of stuff. But I just like a little bit of like protection cover. You know what I mean? So I picked up that. Um, I then got some hoop earrings because I'm getting my hair done in like a week before we go and um, I'm gonna get sort of some of the blonde in my hair. Now do you know what, now I'm looking at my hair in this light and I'm like, oh I quite like the blonde in it. But I've booked to get some of the blonde covered up but I'm only getting a semi permanent brown which is what I've done with this bit here so that it kind of like washes out and fades and then some blonde tints come through as it like washes and the sun hits it and all that sort of stuff. So I got some big hoops I thought they'd look quite cool um this is like the primark bargain of the shop a beach bag this gorgeous like faux leather brown um beach bag it's got like, long straps at the top and short straps so you could have it on your shoulder I actually think you could probably have this over your body yeah you could probably have it oh gosh don't get stuck Harriet you could probably have it over your body but obviously I haven't, I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's got a pocket at the front and the reason I went for an upgrade of a beach bag is because my other one didn't have a zip. This one is £7 down from £10 and the reason I went for this one is because, let me tell you, it doesn't have, my, old, my other one didn't have a zip and it lasted two years but this one has a zip so I just feel like it's going to be much more secure on holiday because if you're like going swimming or if you're going to the beach. Me and Lou have really never been on a holiday actually before where we've left our bags at the poolside and gone in the pool because we're always like really concerned someone will like steal our bags or something. So I'm not really sure how we'll navigate this because I really this year want to like be able to go in the pool together and things like that. So maybe we'll just take less essential things to the poolside and then if we want to go swimming, you know, if our bags get stolen. <laughs> you know you know the vibe do you think the worst case scenario because that's what i do anyway i've got a beach bag for seven no six pounds down from 12. bargain that's my next summer vibe then i got this green hoodie which says tennis club and i thought this under like a jacket would be quite cool um with some leggings and trainers and it was seven pounds and i got it in a size small and it just says tennis club i love all that kind of vibe at the moment it looks cool that's not a holiday vibe that's just like a daily essential and then i picked up for a holiday a pack of new socks because i feel like oh god i'm getting so uncomfortable i feel like you've got to have a bag of uh, new socks and new pants going on holiday um but i had a total failed attempt when i went to primark i went in to get like the cheap um, underwear sets and there was just none in my size like none so I was like no nah, what am I gonna do so um yeah I'm we will be when I go to get my hair done I will be popping into Primark that day so hopefully I can pick up a good selection of new pants so anyway I've got my socks so I'm sorted with them I then picked up a cool candle which is black and gold when the fish swam out of the ocean, they grew heads and they started talking. Is that black and gold? Black and gold, yes. <laughs> um, I thought it was quite cool for like on our TV unit. You can't really see it. Yeah, you can see a TV unit. I thought it would go quite nice. And that was two pounds down from three, three pounds fifty. Um, what else did I pick up? Some great cycling shorts. Not that I'm going to be a cyclist anytime soon <laughs> they're not for cycling well I, I don't know anyway cycling shorts i just thought these with a strappy top would look 
all right just kind of plotting around in the day and last but not least oh no actually it's two last things i picked up a black pair of sandals one pound i mean what is going on one pound for these sandals um i bet there's a reason why they were one pound and no one bought them in the summer because you couldn't they weren't comfortable i don't know but they were a pound so they went in my basket and then last but not least i got some earrings because i've been loving like stacking up earrings at the moment now i've got gold sets in at the moment but these are silver and i only picked these up because they've got lightning bolt ones in there and I love a lightning bolt. And then I went into TK Maxx after and got a set with a lightning bolt in it. So now I've got a silver and a gold set of jewellery um, with lightning bolts in it. But there just wasn't enough there to do a dedicated Primark video. But as I said, I am going back when I go get my hair done. And um, I might be able to film a Primark call before I go away. But hopefully let me know in the comments if you are. I know I've been away in winter ever and it's something that I'd always dreamed of doing you know getting some winter sun and now it's actually happening I'm really excited but um I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing all my like vlogs I can do like um getting ready for going away vlogs pack with me um I don't know let me know in the comments if you'd like to see them um obviously I'm aware of people some people haven't traveled yet since Covid this will be my first this will be the furthest like I've not traveled further than Inverness in just nearly two years so I've not been anywhere for two years um like I've not even been you know sometimes people have been like on city breaks or they've been like even like just a drive to a another city like I've not been further than Inverness which is two hours is nowhere like it's not far Inverness is like I've not even been to Edinburgh or Glasgow which we would always usually go to at least I don't know um it's, it's gonna be it's the furthest we've gone in a very long time so anyway um, I'm gonna love you guys and leave you it's <laughs> like my new ending to a vlog and yes I do have a wakeboard on the wall there it's, it's a gift for somebody <laughs> and it's just like casually chilling in the living room um but yeah I will tag this bag below guys the Hudson blue um, back below because Hudson Blue Designs back below because it is honestly amazing quality and it's like the best replica dupe and they do loads on their website so yeah um, I'm gonna love you guys and leave you thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments what type of holiday content videos you'd like obviously when we get back it'll be like the 6th or 7th of December so there'll be lots of like I will do some Christmas content and like putting a Christmas tree up and like Christmassy vlogs when we get back but for now it's just gonna be a bit of like holiday excitement and I feel like I just haven't had a summer because I was stuck in an office for um six months with no day off <laughs> not that i'm owning i'm not owning. <laughs> um so yeah i love you guys and leave you i hope you're all having a lovely day and whenever you watch this and thank you so much for watching and i will see you all real soon in the next video please don't forget to get, hit the subscribe button if you're a newbie around here that would mean the world to me and give this video a huge thumbs up and let's have a chin wag in the comments um it would mean the world and i will see you all real soon in my next video Yo, bye guys but i won't because i got better better things to do I that spent my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive.